the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children welcome back hope you understood the topics we have discussed in the previous class i hope you are learning the lessons well do study well and complete your activities on time okay so today we are moving on to our new unit titled man and media we know that we are living in a technologically developed world where media has become an essential part of our day to day life the growth and development of languages and the new scientific inventions opened out new horizons to mass media and communication mass media means all the people and the organizations that are involved in providing information to the public especially newspapers television radio etc through this unit we are going to learn about how media evolved and developed over the years and how it influences and helps man in all walks of life it gives us an overall awareness about the widely growing impact of mass media and communication and the means by which communication was carried out in different places and time now let us move on to the first part of this unit the story of messages it is an article adapted from instant messaging that appeared in the hindu young world as i told you we are living in a well developed and well organized world where we have all modes of communication right but there were times when all these facilities were not available and this article shows the evolution of messages let us read the passage the story of messages nowadays when we want to communicate we either email a person or send an sms everything happens by the click of a mouse or the pressing of a few buttons it was not so in the near past most people wrote letters put them in an envelope got them stamped dropped them in a post box and waited patiently to hear from the other person so as i mentioned earlier we have various modes of communication available nowadays if we want to communicate we either send an sms to that person or email them we just have to click a mouse or press a few buttons right but it was not like that in the past people used to write letters to pass the messages they wrote letters put it in an envelope they got them stamped dropped it in a post box and waited patiently for the other person to reply okay way back in the 1850s letters went on horseback from the east to the west of america one freight company decided to speed things up by hiring 80 men to take the mail to the west on horseback in 1860 the pony express was formed the riders for the pony express were chosen for their light weight as well as their riding ability most of them were young boys the route they undertook was a rugged one it went from st joseph missouri to sacramento california a distance of over 1800 miles each rider rode a total of 75 miles changing ponies at different stations so way back in the 1850s letters went on horseback from the east to the west of america 
one freight company decided to speed things up by hiring 80 men to take the mail to the west on the horseback. In 1860, the Pony Express was formed. So, in the 1850s, letters were carried on horseback from the east to the west part of America. To speed up the things, a freight company decided to hire people to carry the messages on horseback. And in 1860, the Pony Express was formed. Freight meaning goods transported in bulk, character. And pony means a small horse. Okay. The riders for the Pony Express were chosen for their light weight as well as their riding ability. Most of them were young boys. The route they undertook was a rugged one. It went from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California, a distance of over 1,800 miles. Each rider rode a total of 75 miles, changing ponies at different stations. So, there were some procedures followed in hiring riders for the Pony Express. Hire means employ someone for wages. Okay. So, men were employed according to their light weight and their riding ability. Mostly young boys were selected for this. The route they had to travel was a rugged one. It was a stony path having a distance of 1,800 miles. And each rider has to travel a distance of 75 miles, changing the ponies in between at different stations. Okay. The mail was carried in four leather boxes, which were attached to a special saddle blanket thrown over the saddle. The changing of ponies was done in two minutes. The speed was a bonus because it cut the average delivery time from several weeks to about 10 days. The fastest trip was made in 7 days and 17 hours. This record was set by the rider carrying President Abraham Lincoln's first message to the US Congress. So, the mail was carried in four leather boxes which were attached to a special saddle blanket thrown over the saddle. The changing of ponies was done in two minutes. Saddle meaning a seat fastened on the back of a horse or other animal for riding. Okay, so the mail was carried in leather boxes that were attached to the saddle and they changed the ponies within two minutes. Okay. The speed was a bonus because it cut the average delivery time from several weeks to about 10 days. The fastest trip was made in 7 days and 17 hours. This record was set by the rider carrying President Abraham Lincoln's first message to the US Congress. So, the speed of the ponies were helpful as it shortened the average delivery time of messages from several weeks to 10 days. The rider carrying President Abraham Lincoln's first message to the US Congress was the fastest trip recorded by the Pony Express. It was made in 7 days and 17 hours. Okay. The poor riders had to ride through unknown terrains. Some routes exposed them to attacks from Red Indians and led them through dangerous territories. Newspaper advertisements for riders listed one important requirement, often preferred. Though exciting, the Pony Express was a short-lived experiment. It lasted for only 19 months. By then, there was a telegraph line from coast to coast. This was definitely a faster way of sending messages. But the invention of the radio brought in a great revolutionary change in the field of communication. So, the poor riders had to ride through unknown terrains. Some routes exposed them to attacks from Red Indians and led them through dangerous territories. Newspaper advertisements for riders listed one important requirement offense 
preferred. So, the riders carrying the messages had to travel through unknown terrains, unknown lands. And some of the routes were very dangerous as it opened them to attacks. The newspaper advertisements for riders looked for orphans so that there won't be problems afterwards if some things happen to them. Often means a child whose parents are dead. Okay. Though exciting, the Pony Express was a short-lived experiment. It lasted for only 19 months. By then, there was a telegraph line from coast to coast. This was definitely a faster way of sending messages. But the invention of the radio brought in a great revolutionary change in the field of communication. So, though the Pony Express was an excited one, it lasted for only 19 months. And by that time, a telegraph line was introduced from coast to coast, which fastened this process of sending messages. But the field of communication got a drastic change by the invention of the radio. Is it clear, children? Okay. Now, let us learn about the influences and the contributions of radio. Okay. The radio. The radio is just over a hundred years old. It was Marconi who invented an instrument to send the wireless message. He sent the first radio message in 1895. This marked the birth of the radio. So, it was Marconi who invented the radio, an instrument to send the wireless messages. And he sent the first radio message in 1895, which marked the birth of radio. Okay. It was in fact developed from the telegraph which was invented by Cook and Wheatstone in 1835. Later, it was perfected by Morse. The word telegraph is derived from the two Greek words telos, which means distant, and grapho, which means to write. The invention of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell in the year 1876 was another revolutionary step in the field of communication. It became more popular because the person at the other end could hear the speaker's voice. So, it was in fact developed from the telegraph which was invented by Cook and Wheatstone in 1835. Later, it was perfected by Mose. The word telegraph is derived from the two Greek words telos which means distant and grapho which means to write. So, radio was developed from telegraph invented by Cook and Wheatstone in 1835, which was later perfected by Morse. Perfected means made completely perfect from false or defects. Okay. And the word telegraph was derived from the two Greek words telos and grapho. Telos meaning distant and grapho means to write. Okay. The invention of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell in the year 1876 was another revolutionary step in the field of communication. It became more popular because the person at the other end could hear the speaker's voice. So, the field of communication witnessed another revolutionary change by the invention of telephone by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. This communicative device became more popular because it made possible for the person at the other end could hear the speaker's voice. Is it clear children? Okay. So, the development of communication didn't stop here. Another invention where you could hear and see the events happening around the world, even the live program is television, which brought a drastic change in the field of communication. Let's read the passage. The television. The television is one of the miracles of science. It is not an idiot box but a magic carpet. Do you know who invented the television? It was a Scotsman named J.L. Baird. 
Baird made it possible to present moving and living pictures of men and events on the screen. In those days, it was only in monochrome, black and white. The color television became popular in the 1970s. Its vast potentialities as a powerful medium of mass communication cannot be underestimated. It is indeed one of the best sources of entertainment and enlightenment for all. Programs on subjects like health and hygiene, nutrition, family planning and agriculture are of the immense help to men and women, especially in rural areas. So, television is said to be one of the miracles of science as it brings the world in front of us. It was invented by a sportsman named J.L. Baird who made it possible to present the moving and the living pictures and events on the screen. Earlier days it was only monochrome, that is it was only black and white. And it was in the 1970s the color television became popular. One cannot underestimate the qualities of this mass medium as it is the best resource of both enlightenment and entertainment. It provides programs related to health, hygiene, nutrition, agriculture and so on which helps the people especially in rural areas. Okay. The television plays a very significant role in educating the farmers on the use of different kinds of fertilizers and pesticides and new methods of cultivation. In addition to giving villagers professional guidance, the television can present a whole variety of cultural programs as well. So, television not only enlightens and entertains, but it also educates the farmers by providing them information about the different farming methods and also the use of different pesticides and fertilizers. It provides the opportunity to get an idea about the variety of culture through cultural programs. Okay. Man is born in the stream of culture. The invention of the television has enabled him to enjoy and see with his own eyes the cultures of different people living in different communities. We know that different people belong to different cultures. And the invention of television provided them the opportunity to know and learn more about the people and their cultures from different parts of the world belonging to different communities. Okay, this medium of audio-visual communication has a very powerful appeal. It can therefore be used for educational purposes also. Lessons on science, mathematics, geography and other disciplines are often telecast. In order to educate the public, more programs on traffic rules, health and hygiene, law and order problems, etc. are also to be included. The TV programs usually deal with many other subjects and topics of current importance. So, television being an audiovisual medium is able to please the people very much. It is also used for educational purposes by providing lessons on different subjects. Programs on traffic rules, health and hygiene, law and order and also the current issues are provided to make people more aware of these topics. Okay, A man after a day's hard work may switch on his television set and derive immense pleasure. He feels greatly relieved after the day's fatigue. At the end of the day after a lot of hard work and stress People are able to enjoy and relieve their stress by watching television. Is it clear children? Okay. So, in these paragraphs you learnt about the evolution of messages and the use of mass media like radio and television. Let us learn more about this topic in the next class. Now, it is time for your homework. The first one is what are the advantages of the radio over the television? Discuss. Write down your points. And the second one is, a few advantages and disadvantages of the TV are given in the columns below. Analyze them and add more ideas of your own. So, 
I hope you understood the topics that we have discussed today. And that's all for the day. I'll meet you in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.